Hi, and welcome to Christina Marie TV here on SF Live. I'm your host, Christina Marie. Now, if you're looking for love in all the wrong places, or maybe you're in the right places, but you still can't find love, or maybe you're wandering around Craigslist going, what the hell is going on on Craigslist? Dating is really, really difficult. So our next guest is coming to the rescue for us. Our guest tonight is Melinda Maximova, and she is a VIP matchmaker for The Perfect Search. Hi, Melinda. Hi. How are you? I'm great, thanks. So question, why should somebody use a matchmaker? Well, I work as a personal headhunter for my clients. So they hire me to go out and conduct the search, and I go out, I'll meet women, I'll interview them until I find a potential match to present to them as a possibility. So much like someone would hire a personal trainer or a financial planner, they hire a personal agent, a matchmaker, to go out and do all the hard work for them. How did one get started? in this kind of work. I mean, it's an interesting occupation. Yeah, well, I used to work for a, a single social club, and a lot of the men were complaining about the women because they would completely set them up just based on age. And a lot of men are you know, attracted to women that are younger than they are, and vice versa, and so they shouldn't be just limited to an age thing. So I, at the time, I was a personal, I mean, I was a, um, a headhunter, mm -hmm. a professional headhunter, and I thought, why not use that same concept where you are a personal headhunter and you go out and actively recruit. So in other words, I'm not limited to the candidate pool. I can go out and meet other women and invite them into the pool. And that is very true about her going to find the candidate pool because I was actually at a party and Melinda and some of her friends came up and asked if I was single. And first of all, first thing I thought is she's really cute, but I'm straight. <laughs> you know, and that, and that happened. It was really funny. But then she explained what she did. And I thought that was just brilliant. I mean, it's a wonderful idea idea and much different than match.com or I'm sure a lot of your clients have tried that route. And yeah, yeah. And I, I encourage people to try everything that they can. But the nice thing about our clients, for women who want to join the candidate pool, you know that our clients, number one, they're screened by me. But it's also, it's a pretty significant retainer that my male clients pay. So the women know that, number one, he's serious. He's not looking to just serially date. He's serious enough to have paid this significant retainer to find a significant partner. And then the second thing is, you know he's financially secure enough to afford <laughs> the retainer. And those are two things that women care about. They're not looking for a guy that's riding his skateboard to work, generally. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. It is a talk show that you can call into. We're actually live right here, right now, on Market Street in San Francisco. So give us a call at 621-4473 if you have any questions on dating. I know you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't be home on a Friday night. Okay? So we're going to talk a little bit now about um, mistakes that guys and women make on dating. Okay? So what are some of the biggest mistakes that people make in dating? Well, one of the things is that um, we actually, we were outside talking about this before we came in. People put so many expectations on the new relationship because they're comparing it to their last relationship. Mm -hmm. So for example, They'll, a woman will say, well, this new guy I'm dating, he isn't doing this, he isn't calling me as often as he should, or he isn't um, jumping through hoops like my last boyfriend did. <laughs> but what she doesn't understand is her last boyfriend was in love with her. This guy, you've only had two dates, and you're already expecting him to act as if he's in love with you. So we have all of these expectations that we put on someone right off the bat. Instead of letting it naturally, organically grow, love is a process not an event and someone isn't going to jump through a lot of hoops until they fall in love with you are you single no well so that you know speaking of that one of my clients was one of these guys that I he, he was a really great guy I liked him so much as a friend so I wanted to give him the best women in my candidate pool that I could and one by one these women would run for the hills because he had no clue how to date he had been oh, no. married 20 years <laughs> and he was just he was just a disaster I mean one time he tried to tip his date okay no tipping dates not pushing them over <laughs> or paying them either way is bad news he really he really <laughs> didn't uh, know what to do and so I, uh, because I was his date coach, I was able to become his friend. You know, he was so off the wall that maybe I would have even ran for the hills had I been uh, dating him. But um, I was helping him through it, and as I was 
date coaching him, we became such good friends, and I fell in love with him. And so it's one of those things, and he is the most wonderful man. And all those women that ran for the hills that are, were just amazing women, I think, ha, you see, you should have just hung in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of hanging in there, we do have a guest in our studio tonight. Um, it is our, for the evening, he is a uh, real artist, but tonight he's playing a pickup artist. So, Melinda, why don't you come have a seat over here, and we're going to introduce uh, John here. So, John, why don't you go ahead and take a seat and join us, John Cowan. Well, I've been asking all my friends what their best pickup lines are. So, mostly it's been men that I've been asking. Okay, lines. so okay. You're, you've gathered pickup lines. Yes. So he's gathered pickup lines, and he is actually going to try them out on us, and we are going to be rating <laughs> them to see how they do. Are you ready for this, John? Yes. Okay, you're ready. Okay, <clears throat> go ahead. Pitch us your first one. Okay. Hey there, I forgot my number. Can you tell me yours? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, All right, so wait, we're one through eight? One through eight. Okay, that... Um, I think it's kind of cute. <laughs> I have a, a two. I have a two and a six. Now, why did that work kind of cute for you? I why would it was you? Cute. I it was what, what part of it was cute? It was, it was funny. funny. Yeah, and humor. You know, humor works. Works okay. for women. Okay, humor. Humor works. So you take all women stuff? say they love humor. If the guy can make them laugh, then. Okay. Well, good. Good going, John. Okay, Thanks. you got a, you got another one for us. Okay, sure. we'll and that, it up for, and that one totaled an eight, so that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> eight out of eight. Nice, nice okay. comeback. Um, all right, ladies, I have a question from you for you from a pe female perspective. Don't you think there's too many sports on TV? <laughs> Wait, where's a 10? <laughs> I like that. Yeah, because he's asking a, an opinion and creating right. a dialogue, which when you're in a bar or a social scene, that's a good thing to that's do. That's wonderful. And like proving that. that he's not a total sports fanatic, which drives <laughs> right. me nuts. Right. So that yeah. would be great. I love that one. Was that yours, John, or was that somebody else's? I did make that up. That's a you good did. one. Yeah. yeah. That's but, really okay. good. I like but that. But then, of course, our first date would be to a football game or something. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really bad, John. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Okay. Hey, I'd like to join your fan club. How do I do that? Oh my God! Oh, that one was okay. bad. Yeah, <laughs> <You> know, one <laughs> really unoriginal, not even funny. What yeah. do you have there? Two. I two. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't even that gracious. One. Yeah. I said fan club, but you know, look, he's crossing it off. He's crossing it off his list. <laughs> I'm not. I'm writing one and two, and I'm going to report back to my friend who thought that was the sweetest thing he'd ever heard. Oh my! <laughs> if your friend is watching, oh, ain't going to work. No. I think while we're while we're doing this, I have to throw in one of the pickup lines that someone has done to me that I just thought was hilarious, and that he walked up and he said excuse me but are you a parking ticket and I'm like what and he said because you got fine written all over you ah. <laughs> I love that one that's very funny I would have given that an eight that's I like funny. that quite okay, very, very creative. Good. so no competition here but no pressure <laughs> yeah, right. okay, okay John you ready I'm all okay. ready you go you might not believe this but I came here from the future so normally I shouldn't talk to you, but you're so beautiful, I will make an exception. <laughs> Do we have a zero? <laughs> well, I don't know. For me, flattery gets you everywhere. So I'm going to give a four. I'm not even <laughs> You're going to get a zero. <laughs> future? You're from the future? Oh, yeah. my God. Are these real people that you asked? That wasn't yours. That one I made up. <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> you're fired. Okay, let's try it again. Do it. Go ahead. Okay. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? <laughs> no, no. I'll say, oh, what are you going to do? <laughs> I'm so laughing. I'm sorry. You like that one? No. <laughs> Three. I'm sorry. It's back to a one again. Oh, that's okay. These aren't mine. Okay, that's okay. Except for the one that I really didn't like. <laughs> the one that was the John's. Most was He's mine. not going to talk to me after the show. You guys can call in with uh, lines of your own 621 Four four seven three. I see you on the couch eating Cheetos. Come on, people. <laughs> Join in. Yes. Okay, John. Go ahead. Please help me. Call in. <laughs>